Hi, this is Stephanie Lotvin of Tellybean Knits, and today I'm going to show you how to work rows one and two of clue three. I'm working on a smaller swatch than you will be working on, and the way that I'm going to be demonstrating this is by showing you a single pattern repeat rather than the 10 pattern repeats that you are asked to do in the chart. That'll just keep our demonstration more succinct and we can get through our rows a little more quickly so you have a sense of how to work rows one and two and can move into this clue with some confidence. All right, let's get started. I have the right side of my work facing me and I am ready to begin row one. I'm going to start by slipping the first stitch purlwise with yarn in front, then I'm going to bring that yarn between the needles to the back of my work. Now I'm just gonna grab color four and I'm going to knit the next two stitches. I'll slip the stitch marker, work a yarn over, and then knit to the next stitch marker. I'm going to make one right I'm going to slip the next stitch marker and I'm now at the central stitch. I'm going to work a double wrap knit stitch here and then slip the next stitch marker, make a make one left, and then knit to the last stitch marker. Now I'll work a yarn over, slip the final stitch marker, knit two, and knit two together. I'm now ready for a wrong side row. I'm just gonna flip my work to the wrong side. And I'm ready to begin row two. For row two, we begin with our working yarn in front. So slip one purlwise with yarn in front, bring the yarn between the needles to the back of your work, Work a yarn over and then knit two. Slip the next stitch marker and we're gonna leave our working yarn at the back of our work. We're gonna slip the next three stitches purlwise with yarn in back. And we wanna keep this yarn nice and loose. If you pull it tight, you're gonna scrunch up those stitches and you're gonna make the following rows really complicated for yourself. So just keep that nice and loose. Bring the yarn between your needles to the front of your work and purl one. And then let me just show you. If you're having trouble keeping those that strand nice and loose, just spread those stitches apart. You can see how loose I have that strand on the front of my work. You can spread those stitches out in order to give yourself some slack in that loose yarn. Bring the yarn to the back of your work slip three stitches purlwise. Once again, keep that nice and loose, spread out those stitches, bring the yarn to the front of your work and purl one. Bring the yarn to the back of your work, slip three stitches purlwise, spread out those stitches, bring the yarn to the front of your work, slip that stitch marker. We are now at the central stitch and you can see it's a double wrapped stitch. So we're gonna want to drop the first wrap so that we have an elongated stitch there. And then we're going to insert our needle purlwise and work a double wrap purl stitch. So we'll wrap once and then twice and bring that double wrap purl stitch through and off the needle. Now slip the next stitch marker, bring the yarn to the back of your work, slip three stitches purlwise, one, two, three, spread out those stitches to keep the tension nice and loose on that yarn, and then bring the yarn to the front of your work. Purl one, bring the yarn to the back of your work, slip three stitches purlwise, spread out those stitches, Bring the yarn to the front of your work, keep the yarn nice and loose, purl one, 
bring the yarn to the back of your work. I'm at the last three stitches before the final stitch marker. I'm gonna slip those stitches purlwise with yarn in back. And then I'm gonna leave my yarn at the back of my work and slip that final stitch marker. And now, get that tail out of the way. With my yarn still in the back, I'm gonna be careful not to pull that strand too tight. I'm gonna knit the last three stitches. Again, if you're feeling like it's getting too tight, just spread those stitches out. Knit those final three stitches. Gonna adjust the tension a little on those loose stitches. Let me show you what the right side of my work looks like now. So you can see what the right side of the work looks like. I have these nice loose strands of yarn on the right side of my work. I have a double wrap stitch on my central stitch and I'm ready to begin row three of clue three. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for watching.